How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, New Age Electric. So, uh, first off, I want to apologize. I haven't been making any videos in quite some time, but uh, as many of you probably are not aware, I started New Age Electric uh, early last year, went basically full on with it, and I pretty much wear all the hats in the company um that being said i haven't had a lot of time to make any videos but that being said i still monitor the youtube channel I, I try to answer some questions and i just seen one that came in today as a comment of how do you upload drawings to live count uh desktop pro I apologize I thought I had put this in a video and I couldn't find it so I haven't uh, I guess I haven't did it yet so let's we're gonna jump right into it uh, first off you need to create your drawing in I'm sorry your bid in Acubid classic so for me I have like a new bid template and I just do a save as and I call it as the name. So I'm just going to do save as. And I got a job that I'm, I got a bid that I'm going to be doing. I got to quit saying that. I always say job because it's not a job until you got a contract. So let me pull up my number really quick. So 202300. So you guys can do whatever you want. I just keep track of all my jobs by date and number of jobs so far. Um, if you're using a template, you can keep this all in there. If not, you can uncheck it, save as, um, I'll do a save, and then you'll be good to go. Just like on our previous tutorial, make sure you go to settings, options, takeoff, live comp desktop, so it automatically links when we create this. Okay, so we're going to jump to the other screen, and uh, this is another job that I'm working on, but to be able to upload drawings and create your life count uh, file, you want to hit file, create new project, um, make sure you save your project somewhere all at the same location, so what I do is 2023, I got a bids folder and all the projects I've bid so far. Um, you select it, so this is the one we'll be doing, the Orland Park. Um, select the project only. So the, it's not so important, but I'll show you why it's good to do this. But when you create a, a, a Live Count Desktop Pro project, each project in Live Count, when you try to select the project, it will come up as this. Instead of if you hit Plants and Specs, the project will show up as Plants and Specs instead. But if you choose this, you can always jump up to it. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, you know, description is fine. Here's the, the basically the hierarchy. So it shows you where everything is located. If you want to put a project type, a size, default scale, whatever you want to do, you can set that up later. Um, these are the two most important ones. Automatically back up project after changes and then scan for drawings because if you put new stuff in there like addendums, all you have to do is scan it and it'll basically reload into it. So hit OK. Hit Add. And then you're back here now. So now all those files that were in there are now there. So we'll go to we'll go to an ITV and just say this one for right now. So there's Orland Park. And I'm actually looking for the drawings. I haven't looked at this yet. And project plans. There you go. So here's the drawings. So um, going back to list the drawings. So all your projects will be listed in the project list tab. So as long as you keep your naming scheme and maybe if you got some bid numbers, you can always jump from every project by a click of a button. You don't necessarily have to go into Acubid, open up the 
open up the bid and then it'll reopen up in here you can actually jump around without actually having to go into AccuBid Classic to do it um, before like I said if you get new drawings you can throw them into your folder and then you would hit the scan for drawings buttons and then anything new will show up and then you can click or unclick it and you just hit add and basically once you hit add you can go back up here into the drawing list and it'll show right up uh, hope that helps uh, again if you haven't click the subscribe click the subscribe and we are on LinkedIn so if you want to follow us on LinkedIn that's great you kind of see what kind of projects we got going you could see some pictures of how we're doing um, we're still uh, bidding and you know winning here and there but it's the nature of the business uh, once again Alfred Flores New Age Electric thanks for watching see you next time